Hey everyone, it's Richard Payne here from Kill Village Sick Realty and we all know that buying a home, whether it's your first or your fifth, can be a fairly stressful process. So I want to give you the five P's of buying a home, which is proper planning prevents poor purchase. So let's start with the first P, which is proper. We all know that no matter what you're doing, proper planning is kind of a key start to whatever you're actually about to embark on. And real estate purchase is no difference. So when you have a proper person to guide you through the process, to use all of the forms, and actually who's been through the process more than once, you know, that's kind of a key start to making sure that the journey that you're about to embark on has been proper planned and you know exactly what's going on. So you've got the market conditions, you've got the other people involved in the real estate transaction as well. We've got to make sure that we've got the right people there, as well as all the forms that are going to be used, the market environment, is it a buyer's, is it a seller's market, and your requirements as well. That can make the whole process a whole lot easier and a lot more straightforward and a little bit less worrisome. Let's move on to the second P, which is preparation. Now, let's take a little analogy here of if you were going to the grocery store and you didn't know how much money you had in your pocket, you wouldn't be able to accurately buy the products that you actually need. And that's the same thing when buying a home purchase. So yes, it's a little bit different than, you know, just needing $25 to go to the grocery store, but the process is still exactly the same. And what we're talking about here, of course, is preparing for financing to make sure that you've seen that mortgage broker, the bank, to get the pre-qualification in place, to know what kind of purchasing power we actually have. And that's one of the key things that we always talk to everybody about is make sure that we've prepared ourselves and we've got ready for buying the house. Let's move on to the third P, which is prevents. This is all about making sure that prevention is a lot easier than the cure. So this talks about the home inspection process and we want to prevent any kind of issues that you could come into in the next few years that are gonna cost you ultimately some money. So we always say get the prevention, which is a home inspection. The fourth P, which is poor. So if something has not been done well, then it's not worth doing at all. And this is where it's about vision. It's about understanding the lifestyle that you want. It's about the budget. Uh, it's about the location. It's about style of home, neighborhood, schools, all of the other things that go into some really in-depth knowledge so that you know exactly what you're looking to buy. It's all about having a better vision. So the better the vision you have, the more adequately we can create the process and make it as simple and as straightforward and as easy and enjoyable as it should be. And now the final P, which is the purchase. So we could always find you that dream home and that's the ideal, but let's not forget that at some stage you're probably going to sell that home on and keeping resale in mind is really key to make sure that what we're buying at the right time is absolutely what can be sold later on down the path because at some stage you're probably going to need to move out of that home and sell it so that is a key element to make sure that we're purchasing the right property for you so let's remember and let's recap those five p's which is proper planning prevents poor purchase so whilst we're always looking to make the process as simple and as easy as possible, these five P's will really help make the process a lot easier, a lot smoother, and a lot of enjoyment to make sure that when we get you the keys and you're moving into that home, you know it's been a great journey and it's been a great process.